Okay, so at our recent uh, meeting with AMD at Gamescom, uh, they had a kind of really cute, nice, uh, just one more thing uh, that they wanted to show us. I'm not quite sure who else has seen it at the time they said that nobody no. else was going to see it, but this is a big one. Um, it is frame generation at the driver level for all DX11 and DX12 titles. Uh, we actually saw a demo of it in motion. They attached a big bunch of caveats to it. Yeah. And I think oh, yeah. Yeah, before, the meet, before the meeting, they were basically saying, we want to show you this, but please don't talk about it. Then after the meeting, they said, go ahead and talk about it. And I think possibly because we thought it was really, really cool and wanted mm -hmm. to share the news. Oh, yeah. Um, so who wants to talk about I'll it? Talk about it first, okay. because it's kind of in an interesting area that we've seen work done before. Where, so this is basically just optical flow, right? It doesn't have this at the driver level. They don't have access to motion vectors. They don't have anything on the game side. But using this optical flow, they can basically interpolate frames. And I would liken this to what TVs offer already, yeah, right? Which that's is like what it is. interpolation of frames, you know, up to a higher frame rate. We've seen this. Why doesn't it work there? Well, the problem with TVs is that the latency is very high when you engage this, at least like 100 milliseconds, often a lot more than that, right? Yeah. So it, it's basically not very playable or smooth. The idea here is that they seem to have created like a gaming take on this. It's done on the GPU uh, that essentially interpolates lower frame rate content up to a higher frame rate. And it works on anything that fits into DX11 or DX12. Yeah. And this could this doesn't just have to be like 3D stuff, which is actually the most challenging though. They did they did show us The Last of Us Part One or T Loop One, as we like to say, which we'll talk about. Alex, you can talk about that. Yeah. But, um, yeah. This actually, I asked them, and this can apply to stuff like let's say you have a side-scrolling action game, 60 frames per second limit. You use this feature. Now you've got 120 frames per second sort of scrolling. It's the idea. And it seems to function based on what we saw a lot better than TV motion interpolation as well. Yeah, but, but there was, are caveats. It was, yeah, it was it was hard. It was a bit hard. I mean, the demo was they tried to find an area of the demo where the game ran the worst on this 4K 144 hertz panel. Yep. Uh, and obviously that was hard to show. And to talk a little bit about the quality, obviously, since it is only going to be um, optical flow, it's not going to have the quality of FSR 3 or DLSS 3 or anything yeah. like that. But like John was saying, these like translational movements, it should be able to cover those kind of things, like the exactly. cameras moving left to right. But so some of the things about that demo, it looked good, but we were watching it in this kind of some somewhat strange conditions where they had to show it with VSync off. Yeah. Which is the opposite of FSR 3, the way we saw FSR 3. So it was tearing. And it was really hard to actually get a sense if we were seeing tearing artifacts at times or right. if we were seeing a lot of but weird stuff. What Remember, what they, they did yeah. tell us, though, like, this is still very early. And yeah, the idea yeah, yeah, is yeah. to implement VSync on this. This yeah, is yeah, just yeah. where they're at right now. The this frame, rate, the frame rate was so high, I think it was outside of the VR. Yeah, window. it went above the VR. Yeah, it's like 180. It's, yeah, like that. it was kind of nuts. I've got, actually got some additional details here uh, via email, which, um, uh, which, which we didn't know about before. So this is all, right, all used. Well, let's go. Um, AMD fluid motion frames, that's what they're calling it. Uh, the next step in the Hyper RX roadmap of performance features and it's a sneak peek i mean what i mean oh, yeah. it was absolutely uh, it's a frame interpolation technology that, div that delivers significant performance improvements upwards of 90% depending on hardware and games played right intended to run on all dx11 and dx12 games when it's launched in q124 um, yeah the, now this is new information during very rapid mouse movement we turned the feature off to preserve image quality. This is based upon what they do with uh, Radeon Boost, essentially. Okay. If you think about it, they have an idea of how rapidly you're moving the mouse with Radeon Boost because they're turning down the resolution with that feature. But with this one, because they think it'll probably show off, you're going to see, if you move the mouse more with optical flow, way more disocclusion. Uh, I showed this in uh, Spider-Man in my original DLSS three video, want where you go like ju -ju 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 in front of like a like a chain link fence or some sort of thing like that. You just see a lot of disocclusion there, and it causes the most issues. So I think that's why they would do that. But that's that's awesome information. To have. Yeah, absolutely. Um, at 4K, our baseline uh, FPS recommendation is 70 FPS, higher than the 60 recommended for FSR three. Oh. This is the perfect number to hit a steady 120 plus FPS 
to make the best use of a 120 or 144 hertz panel. A higher mm. FPS baseline produces higher image quality with interpolation, right? And that, that makes sense. That makes sense, right? Because the sure. um, the longer the interpolated screen uh, is is displayed, uh, the more obvious artifacts will become. But when they're sandwiched between uh, quote unquote real, real frames, frames. <laughs> yeah. then then basically it produces a strobing effect and you don't notice it as much. Yeah, that was the thing I tried to get across in the DLSS 3 full review video and I think it landed by a lot of people and I think when you put the, on the Clips channel recently the, um, the Spider-Man uh, fake frames versus real frames and I think a lot of people were like, oh, that's the quality? Like, yeah. they get it now. I think they, DLSS 3, it, it arrived in a state where it had some issues and they've been, a lot of them have been ironed out. And uh, now I think there's like a gaming, there's a mindset among gamers about the utility of it and what it can be and do. And I think FSR 3 is going to scratch that exact same itch based upon the demo we saw. So, yeah. So this was really cool, right? And it was totally unexpected. Driver yeah. level frame interpolation. It's going to have its limitations. It's not going to work great on every game or every gaming scenario. But the point is, they did it. They went ahead and did it. They're going to, pro they're going to put that out there. And I just think the concept of putting it out there as a kind of... Um, you know, use use at your own risk if you like, but it, that's there's great. No, there's that's no good. risk as such. It's just you know, Optional. quality. Like try it if you want. If you don't like it, don't use it. But the fact that you can use it and find use cases for it, that's very that's promising. Yeah. And we already thought of use cases. We thought about games like Dark Souls Three that are locked to sixty FPS under the assumption that it works under every like. I don't know how exactly those yeah. games work at sixty. Like in terms of like, do we'll they see. lock your refresh rate at sixty? I don't recall off the top of my head. But there's like way. There's like definitely things you can think about where this is useful even if you don't like it has use it's not just like to be comparable to dlss3 or fsr3 and this is like it's utility it's really cool right yeah. i mean this is the cool, kind of yeah. thing that we've been talking about on df direct which is you know let's let's see something that nvidia isn't doing mm -hmm. and this is it right i mean uh, this also puts pressure on nvidia to actually produce their own version which again will have utility, right? And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that one, I guess, will be hardware accelerated with potentially, yeah, presumably with ADA. using the optical flow analyzer. So yeah. this is what competition is about in terms of features. And um, this is not playing catch up. This is taking the lead, which I think is exactly the, the kind what of thing AMD see should be doing. Exactly right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good on the. That's yeah. Cool. So that was really, really impressive. But it was Vsync off, which um, produced tearing artifacts because we it was running at such a high frame rate. It, yeah, it was. It instantly jumped. What was it like a seventy something without it, or it was like eighty without 70, it? And 80, I was like, yeah, and it was, it was like, like one hundred eighty three. Yeah. Like, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, it's it's nuts, and I can't wait to see it. And also, kind of curious to see how it's going to run on the APUs. Rock Ally might be interesting. It's got 120 hertz screen. They did mention to us that they're kind of targeting it. At least that's what they're thinking of saying. I think it was like targeting it for lower end to get you into those cool high frame rate experiences that you might otherwise not get on your hardware. Potential artifacts would be less noticeable on a smaller screen too. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, so like the ROG Ally is an interesting, or the I guess the Steam Deck would Steam be an Deck interesting case too. Yeah, yeah so that, that was actually a really cool part of the presentation and we sort of left the, the meeting with AMD saying, yeah, we're not going to announce it for a while yet, so please keep it under your hat. And we're thinking, ah, oh, that's, a, that's a shame, that's right? That's a shame. That's a good thing. And then, you know, I had a message about uh, within the hour, I think, saying, hey, you're free to talk about it. And yeah, this was fantastic. Yeah, really I like it. To see how it's all going to play out. Mm -hmm.